everybody, and welcome back to another episode of iCraft. Today, um, well, we're going to be starting a somewhat large project of making our sorting system. So, remember last time, we carved out a big space. Well, that turns out that was right under our castle. And so, we are going to create, inside that, the basic shell for what our sorting system is going to go onto. So let's get into that time lapse right now. Now, you may have noticed in the time lapse that was just the outline, kind of like the design of it, more of the visual aspect than actual technology. And that is because we are not going to actually build the sorting system itself right now. Today, we are going to be building, for a majority of the episode, I think, an iron farm. I just broke that with my normal pickaxe. Well, guess the first thing we're gonna do is get a new inch, uh, uh, what's it called? Ender chest. Oh, I have a couple in here. Um, okay. Ender pearl. Blaze powder. I think I have some in my castle. Well, anyway, I am going to actually put one of these back so I can show you what I was actually just about to show you. That being the materials I have quickly gathered. This is going to make up the majority of our iron farm. We will also need some other things for it, but that will come a little bit later on. So for now, we are just going to fast forward to when I have all my items ready. So, we are now en route to the location, now that I've gotten the ender chest fixed up. Um, so now that we are en route to the location, I'm going to tell you a little more about the plan. So, the storage system that we are building requires a lot of hoppers. Like, so many. I went mining for a while in the last episode, you might remember. That was a one hour mi mining session. That wasn't all I did. I did like another one hour or something off camera. I got like 56 iron in total right now. Um, so I invested some of that in this opportunity and now we are going to have so much more iron for anything that we want to do with it. So we are just traveling to an area that I have not prepared at all. I just feel like it's far enough away um, for our operations to properly commence. So let's just travel this way, I think. Basically on the other side of this hill would be good. <gasps> Doggies. Doggies. Okay, one one moment please. I have important business to attend to. I just happened to have bones on me from the last thing we were doing. I was growing things. Oh <gasps> doggy one. Doggy, doggy, doggy. No. Be nice. <gasps> Both insta dogs. I will come back for you, I swear. Oh my goodness still feel bad about the doggy we lost and I think it was the second episode yeah oh wow this is an interesting formation oh my goodness look at this wait where's my torches whoa this is crazy this I've never seen anything like this generally in Minecraft before because not only is it a cave inlet, but it's also underwater. It's such a wide opening. This is so cool. 
Okay, wow. Wow, um, this is becoming a boating operation. Okay, let's see. Where should we put this? I think just on the other side of this hill could be good. So let's try to climb up this. And we did it. Uh, okay. So now we're on top of the cliff. Unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like there's anything easily behind it. I thought it was going to be more like plainsy over here, but no, it's just straight up swamp. I don't think I'll be able to work well in this area. Hmm, let's see. Uh, what's this over here? Oh, wow. Okay, um... Let's just take a moment to appreciate this not loaded in landscape. Okay, it's loaded in a little better now. I think this could be a good place. Let's put it right there by those trees where the uh, slightly tall tree meets the slightly tall spruce tree meets the oak forest. We'll do it there. Okay. to fall a lot further down. That was much more appropriate. I took zero damage from falling on that. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean. Um, I expected to take more damage, but I'm glad I didn't. So this is the tree I think I said. So let's start putting down some infrastructure for this. Okay, so I've built one module of this iron farm. I think the link for that, I'm gonna put it in the description of this video. So just click in the link below. I think it's a Doc M77's design. And I just put one module in for the uh, main section. What I'm doing is basically there's gonna be three villagers in here and right above that trap door there's some water and so they're bobbing up and down and when their sight line crosses with a zombie that's going to be right here they're going to spawn golems in the only available place which is going to be a platform above and then they're going to fall down into a killing system down here and then i'm going to put another module over there for just extra spawning so i'm going to do that real quick just wanted to give everyone a progress report okay so now that we've got the second module in place we can move on to the main thing spawning platform in the center with the cauldron below it that the zombie sits in so it's a really cool thing how it works basically the zo zombie sits in water and the zombie bobs up and down the villagers are also sitting in water and they also bob up and down so when they can they make eye contact with the zombie and get scared which makes the iron golem spawn then the iron golem flows off the spawning uh platform into the killing machine did i already explain this i'm getting deja vu well, either way, I'll build in the spawning platform now, and I'll get back to you that with that in just a second. Okay, so we've built out the spawning platform. Uh, this is where the golems will spawn and then flow off the edge. And um, so we've got it all set up. Now all I need to do is lay out the water. And, oh, did I accidentally, I think I accidentally waterlogged this, that's not good. Uh, well, while this is waterlogged, I can poke these two blocks out, along with the rest of these. And then we can pop this trap door on there, and then we can take this source and put it in that bucket and that's where our zombie will go so i think and i've made sure all the spawning platforms lit up properly so no zombies or anything will spawn up there and interfere with anything and so i think this is set up all we need now is for the zombie 
to sit in the cauldron, and I think it's three villagers per module for a total of six villagers. I think that's right. I have no bed. Uh, can I reach this? No, I cannot. Okay, let's see. Cobble. Hmm. Okay. And so, now we're inside it. We drop out. Close up the trap door. And the site. Sir, watch, there we go. And there we go. So this should be ready for when we deliver the villagers and the zombie. The zombie, I think, will just have spawn here, and then the villagers will get from the village. Unfortunately, on that note, I seem to have made an oversight. I tried to pick an area as close to the village as possible so I could easily just bring some villagers over, but it turns out that the village is actually a bit of a ways away. So I'm going to have to take a little while and set up some track, some minecart track for that. Uh, but before that, I've seen this new trick uh, circling the internet, and it's about a really easy way to get diamonds. Now, I think the first step is that you gotta find a swamp, and while we're trying to find a place for this, we found a swamp just over here. So the first step is you travel to this swamp. Then, once you're in the swamp, you try to find some clay. We are still in the swamp, swamp yes? Yes, we are. Um, so now then you try to find some clay, a clay patch like this, and then what you do is you go to the center of the clay, so that's right here, then you face south, where's south, okay, east, north, south, so then you look south, and then you place seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. And then there should be diamonds there, I think. So we're going to dig straight down, which is generally not a good idea, but we'll do it. So I found some redstone, but no diamonds. Maybe I did this wrong. I think, okay, maybe it's you face south, but you travel north because you're facing south to place the blocks. That could be it. I'm going to try that real quick. That didn't work out so well either. I mean, I don't really know yet, but I mm, fell straight into some lava. There's some more. Um, and, uh, but thanks to some cobble, some quick cobble and water placement, I was fine. Can I fill this up? No. This isn't even Y12, is it? No, this is Y8. So let's just go up to Y11. Or no, Y11. And let's peek around to see if we happen to miss any diamonds. Nope. Nothing. Let's try one more time with the original tactic, because at least we found redstone that time on a different one, because maybe we just got unlucky, but I think this one might be a bust for us. We did find a lot of iron, though. Some lava. My heart is beating pretty hard right now. With some water and some swimming and our great armor, we managed to survive, but that was a close one. Uh, we wasted our water, so I think we're just going to call this done for the day. How far did we go? We're Y11. Maybe I'll look around this cave for a minute, but I don't have many torches, so maybe this is not a good idea. But you know what? We've got steak, we've got armor, we've got weapons, and we've got readiness in our hearts, and we are going to do this right now. Maybe. Hopefully. So let's look around a little. Let's see what we see. Nothing. Literally nothing. This is the worst cave ever. Um, okay, guess we're leaving now. Not even any risky diamonds. I think there might be a couple 
of iron on the way out, but again, this last hole has not been that good. So we're just going to go back to the project and I'm going to set up the infrastructure for the rails to transport the villagers. So I will get back to that in just a moment. So clear out all this iron. Took a while, it was really annoying. I had to lead the zombie up using the um a staircase, which took a while. I had to wait for it to get night when it was day and they all died, which took a while. And then once he was on that area and trapped, it took a while for me to actually push him into the cauldron and cauldron and tap him with trap him. Push him into the cauldron and trap him with the trap door. But once I did it, it was smooth sailing from there because I was done. So here we have our little zombie Mozart, and this zombie is what does the magic. So now we, all we have to do is get the villagers. I don't think I'm going to be able to do mine parts effectively, because you need a lot of iron for those. And the reason we're doing this is I have basically no iron, except for what's in here. How much does this make? Rail. So, six iron makes 16 rails. I have 48 iron, so we just do some quick mathematics, 48, <coughs> excuse me, 48 divided by 6 is 8, so that's 8 by 16, I think, that sounds right, let's do it, let's make, let's make 4 sets which is 64 rails. Let's see how far that gets us. So a stack of rails got me basically past the water a good ways through and some ways, I was saying a good ways but then I backtracked. Not very far but still a fair bit down this tunnel. I've counted and I need a hun 100 more rails. That was a stack. I need a hundred more rails to get all the way to here. Now, given that we used half of our rails for just, or half of our iron for just 64, we won't be able to do this with just the iron we have here. Meaning we'll have to dip from the reserves back home. But I don't really want to do boating because it's so annoying. And you know what? It's a worthy investment because we're going to get so much iron from this, hopefully. Enough to sustain us. So, I'm going to go get those rail tracks finished setting up and then that's a shame and then we will get ready to go so um, apparently I don't know how mine carts work because I was just trying to get this whole thing set up so I can just show it off and then put the villagers in my cart but I just slid the mine cart down that track and it picked up the villagers boot with the mine cart in it so let's send this villager on its way and we'll chase after it. Man, look at it go. I'm glad it made it all the way. I'm actually surprised. Let's get hitboxes on. Oh, oops. Um, okay, there we go. The first villager is free. Okay. And then you should be good until I get back. Hypothetically. So I'll get back to you once I have both villagers in. Okay, so we have brought two villagers over. There were some hiccups along the way. Like okay, I had to expand this, one of the villagers died, so but eventually I breathed them all up, and there is one actual taiga villager in there. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna move them up to these beds that that's where they inhabit but I'm probably gonna do that off camera because that's gonna take a while I have to wait for it to be night and I will get back to you when the iron farm is working and I will tweak things along the way in case it doesn't so I will get back to you with that in any moment now so after a while of trying things out and getting the villagers up it was quite a hassle but eventually I got into a rhythm and now we have villagers in each of the modules. I don't have three in there, but I gave them some food, so I hope they'll breed. And now, um, in the middle, unfortunately, we lost Mozart. So here we have Beethoven. 
I dug out an area so that the iron golems would just fall into the killing chamber, which we are gonna make now. Uh, so let's see. Hmm. This was a miscalculation. It was too big. Um, let's see. They won't go past about this point. I did not think this through. Um, I did not want it to fill all the way up. I wanted it to flow towards the middle. Well, they are not going to be landing along here. So I'm going to have to fill in this middle portion and I'll get back to you with this when I'm done. Okay, so um, now the iron farm is essentially finished. Now, here's what happens. So, when a villager bobs up and makes eye contact with the zombie, it scares them, which causes an iron golem to spawn up there. And then, it flows down from the water into this little system. When it, and the water causes it to flow further down and flow down again into the lava. And if we just go down here, The lava is on top of some signs so that the iron golem is still getting damaged because they're tall, but their items are dropped off safely into these hoppers, which then flow into this chest. And that 12 is just from sitting here for a second and preparing to record. Um, so yeah, I am excited that this farm is going so well already. So we are going to, to finish this episode off. I think we're going to end with a... AFK session. I don't know how long it will be, but I will let you know at the beginning of the next episode, I think. So, I'm gonna uh, sign off now. This has been fun. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, it means you might like this content, so consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, the next episode of iCraft. Who knows? It might be something else. Bye-bye!